Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman here is Henry. Today we're excited to show you the Wolfpack 315 Pack 12. And uh, this unit here we order loaded with the generator. So uh, we'll go through that um, at, during the walkthrough. We'll start up front with your uh, pre-molded fiberglass gel coated front cap here on the front. It does have your integrated LED lights as well. Uh, we're going to move underneath here. Uh, like I mentioned, this does come with a 5.5 Onan uh, generator here. And then you have your landing gear controls retract re, uh, and extend right here. And then your LED lights on the front cap would be that switch right there. You do have your adjustable landing gear legs. And we'll move around to the passenger side over here. This does have a portable solar panel port. So if you do any dry camping and would like a portable solar panel to maintain the battery, you can do that through that port. And then you also have two 20 pound LP tanks, one on each side. And the reason they go with 20 pounders is because if you would happen to run out of LP, uh, that is your standard uh, size at your gas stations or wherever if you want to do an exchange. You do have a front storage compartment here. Uh, a lot of nice storage there. You do have an interior light as well. And then you have your 6 gallon gas electric DSI water heater. This here heats up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you come up here and look on the lower left hand corner, there's an on and off switch right there for the electric side. And I'll show you the gas side when we move to the inside. Always make sure there's water in the water heater on the electric side so you don't burn up the heating element. Uh, moving down underneath right here, we have a quick connect for your LP. So if you have an outdoor grill and like to tap into your LP bottles up front, you can do that through that port. And then also, if you look on underneath, you can see it is enclosed underbelly. It is insulated. It is has your uh, duct work from your furnace running into there, as well as heat pads on your holding tanks. You do have blue LED speakers on the outside. Um, you have one here, one at the back door, and in the center you have a TD mounting bracket that's the same as the one on the inside. So if you'd like to take the TV from the inside, bring it out here, you can do that. And then the connections would that be right below that. Here we have what you call your stable step. This is a rock solid step that sits on the ground instead of suspending in the air. You have an adjustment on each side so you can adjust it to the contour of the ground. And these are very easy to set up and take down. You basically open your entry door. You lift it up. And there's a latch on the left hand side that holds it into the frame of the door. And then you close your door and flip your grab handle shut and you're ready to go. So very easy to set up and take down. This is what they call a friction hinge door. This is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds. We do not have latches like they've had in the past that are break over time or you forget to unlatch and tear them out like we've done a time or two. Okay, moving on back here, uh, let's actually cover the awning here. This is a large awning. It is a 21 foot awning. You do have your blue LED lights under there as well as a scare light and you do have an adjustment on each end to adjust the pitch of the awning uh, if it happens to rain. That is a power awning. All right, we'll move on back here. We'll get to the aluminum rims. These come with aluminum rims and radial tires. Um, you do have your tire pressure monitor stems on here. It has the number 80 on the cap. So you know the tire pressure that needs to be in there. And you can see it's in the green position currently because the tire pressure is good. But if I loosen that and the tire pressure comes low, you can see that turn to red. That means your tire pressure is low, so then you need, you know you need to add more air. I also removed the center cap here so you can see it is an easy lube axle along with your self-adjusting brakes. 
You do have your second entry door that goes into the garage area. You have a three-step there. And then you have your electric stabilizer jack in the back. You have your extend retract switch right here. And I do have that in the down position so you can see what that looks like. Moving on to the back here, we do have your patio system as well uh, on your ramp door. Um, if you look at the pictures on our website, you can see it in various positions. But basically, to load your toys, uh, you remove this pin right here on this cable. And then you can lower your ramp door down to the ground, drive your toys in, and then you can close your door. Uh, above the ramp door, you can also see there's a scare light up there, and beneath the center clearance light is an additional black bracket. That is uh, a bracket ready, prepped and ready for a backup camera. So if you'd like to add a backup camera, it is prepped and ready for that. You can see I do have your uh, screen wall there in the back. I did just lower the one half so you can see what that looks like. There is a zipper that goes down the center to open and close. Moving around to the driver's side does come with your roof ladder. Uh, this here stays mounted to the side of the unit. You do have two pins down here at the bottom that you remove and then you can pull this ladder out into position and reinsert the pin. So very nice. Uh, you're not having to get a ladder out of the garage area and attach to the side here. So that's very convenient. Also, if you duck down underneath, you can see the spare tire is right underneath your bumper there in the back. You can see the attachment coming through the bumper. So you can lower, raise and lower it right there. Uh, your fuel station. You have a gas nozzle and hose right here in this compartment to fill your toys. You have a 30 gallon reservoir underneath that you can fill through this cap. And then you have your monitor uh, fuel station right here with your fuel gauge and then your on and off switch. This is a 50 amp uh, unit so it does come with a detachable 50 amp cord that is separate. It's not a cord that you're trying to pull out and shove back in. So that is a nice feature there. All right, we'll move on up in front of the slide out area where your hookup center is. Up in front of the slide out is your hookup station. You do have a spray port right here that comes with a coil hose with a nozzle. You have your outside shower with your hot and cold. You have your black tank flush. So when you empty your black tanks, you can connect a water hose to this. And uh, there is a spray port in the back of your black tank that will rinse that out. You also have your cable and satellite hookups. Here's your fresh water connection and city water connection. City water being where you'd hook your water hose at a campsite. Fresh water is if you're dry camping. You would fill your fresh water tank through this port, turn on your water pump switch on the inside, and you're ready to go. This is a pass-through storage, so this would be the storage compartment on the other side of your basement storage. And then again, you have your 20-pound LP tank here in the front on the other side. I believe that concludes the outside of the 315 Pack 12 and now we'll move to the inside. On the inside, you do have your jackknife sofa and dinette in the slide-out area. You have pull-down roller curtains. Right inside the door is your kitchen area. And then you have your entertainment center right here across from your dinette and sofa. Your bedroom in the front and your garage in the back. So we're going to start right inside your entry door. Uh, this is just a place to hang up clothes. You have your entertainment center here, overhead cabinet. Uh, this does have your, uh, this actually has two air conditioners. So you have a thermostat in the bedroom and then you have one here. And this is where you would run your air conditioner and your furnace from. Uh, you have your stereo as well here. This is AM FM. It also, uh, I actually took a picture of this tag so you can see what it all has, but it's Bluetooth, HDMI, 
and a few others. So you do have your TV connections underneath here, your TV mounting bracket, and then at the bottom is your fireplace. Your fireplace does throw heat and it has, uh, I think, three different settings for low, medium, and high. You also have three different settings as far as your flame color. There is a red, amber, and blue. All right, moving up to the bedroom area, you do have your steps that go up in the bedroom. You have a bathroom door to the right. You also have one in the bedroom area. You have a corner closet here with lots of shelves for storage. And this does come with your king bed. You do have a wardrobe on each side of the bed, overhead cabinets, as well as a drawer at the base on each side, a receptacle, and a USB port. All right, uh, we do have over on this side a corner cabinet deep storage there and then you have your TV backer in the wall in case you'd like to add a TV in the bedroom area and then you have your connections there in the back. On the other side would be your bathroom entry from the bedroom. There you can see your bedroom switch light and your thermostat for the AC. In the bathroom you have a corner lavatory as well as a medicine cabinet, a stand-up corner shower, creative breeze fan, and then you have your toilet that gives you the ample leg room that you're looking for. Uh, the stand-up corner shower does have your skylight at the top. Okay, we're gonna move out to the living area again. And we will continue in the slide out area where your jackknife soap is. If you look at the pictures on our website, there is storage under the, underneath there and you can lay that flat for additional sleeping arrangement. You also have a USB port here as well. The dinette also gives you additional sleeping arrangement by removing the pedestals of the table, sliding the cushions together, and you do have your drawers at the bottom for storage to pull out. In the kitchen area you have your base cabinet, a residential refrigerator, and large overhead cabinets. So a lot of nice storage up there above that. Uh, you also notice all the lights. They add additional lighting in the kitchen area. Very well lit. So job well done by them. Two drawers, a cabinet door, and the base cabinet. Here, instead of an oven, you have a convection microwave. You have a glass drop-in cooktop. This is um, has a light right here for LED lights around each knob. And this does give you more countertop space if you're not using the stove top. It is a flush-mounted glass cover. Bifold cover that folds back and also serves as a splash guard. And that is a three burner. In the back, you'll notice a cutting board. Uh, this is pretty uh, neat. This is a new item for Wolfpack, but they have this attached with four magnets that is easily removable and you can use as a cutting board. The sink cover um, also is a flush mount, giving you more countertop space if you're not using your sink. Single bowl. You have a high-rise pull-out kitchen faucet. And towards the back is your monitor panel and then your switch for your heated holding tank pads. Your monitor panel shows you your levels of your gray black fresh water tanks, your battery level, and this is where your gas switch is for the water heater on the left. If you're dry camping, your water pump switch is on the right. Okay, your refrigerator is a residential. This is 11 cubic, so this is larger than what we've had in the past. So that is very nice. It does have a 12 volt. It's run by an inverter. So if there is a power outage, you do have 12 volt backup on this to keep it going. All right, we'll move into the garage area. 
You do have a 12 foot garage and while I think about it I will mention that they now add a washer dryer prep on the front wall so you still have 12 foot on each side but right where that cabinet is you will lose a foot so you'll only have 11 foot to that. You'll notice there are lots of tie downs on your rubber floor here in the garage. You have a double dinette with a folding table in the center as well as your bed at the top. So if you look at the pictures on our website I do have this in various positions so you can lower the upper bed you can fold the dinette seats down so you have two complete full beds all the way across for sleeping or you can flip the backs back on the sofas and turn into a dinette and your switch to operate that would be right inside your entry door back here and you have a USB port on each side of the bed lift and you'll notice there are lighted uh, switches in these units so you're not fumbling around in the dark trying to find them okay uh, turning around here giving you a visual of the front of the garage you have large overhead cabinets there and then in the far right corner you'll notice your TV connections and a TV backer in that wall in case you would like to add a TV out here in the garage uh, I believe that concludes the inside of the 315 pack 12 I'll do one more brief walkthrough for you again we are the outpost RV you can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845 and again my name is Phelan and thank you for watching